All right, guys, I'm about to test the motherboard. I've got my instructions over there. I've got everything plugged in. Let me just flip the camera around. Apparently, if I touch a couple of those prongs together with a screwdriver, I know, doesn't, doesn't seem right, does it? But apparently, if I do that, I can jumpstart the system and uh, it should work. So this will either be a huge win or the blooper of the year. Let's find out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the power on to the power supply. I don't think we'll see anything, but here it goes. All right, so nothing's happening, but that's because technically everything should be off still. So, um, yeah, let me uh, touch those two prongs there and see what happens. I need to get in the better position here. It's on. We've got power. Whew, I was definitely nervous there. I don't really work with electronics. Ever. Just, uh, usually woodworking and random, uh, pallet wood projects. Noise. So before I hit that power button and show you the grand finale, I just want to say a couple of things. First off, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for all the parts myself. And uh, if you did want to stick around for a few more minutes, I'll go into a little bit more detail on all the parts that I used, and I'll also leave some Amazon links for you as well. And an interesting fact for you guys, I was actually running my entire channel on a 14 year old computer before this. Uh, so this is quite the upgrade for me. I was actually kind of surprised how much I was able to do with that old computer. And I started the channel by filming on a Samsung S7 phone, and then I stole my wife's S10 phone, and I'm actually still using the S10. So since my channel seems to be growing, I'll probably upgrade that next. I thought I'd better start with the computer because my programs were starting to crash a little bit more often, and uh, I wasn't able to deal with larger file sizes. All right, let's power this bad boy up and uh, see how it looks. And for those of you that are interested, let's talk about the parts real quick. The CPU I chose was the Intel 12600K. This one had great reviews across the board and is budget friendly. The motherboard I chose was the Pro B760MA. It's got Wi-Fi and it is a DDR4 board. Now there are hundreds of boards to choose from. I went with this one because it had good reviews, budget friendly, and it seemed to have everything that I needed. The most expensive part of the build was the GPU. For that I chose the MSI GeForce RTX 3060. It was a toss up between this one and the 4060, but this one has 12 gigabytes of VRAM and the 4060 only has eight. And I felt I needed more for video editing. And as for the RAM, I went for 64 gigabytes. Originally, I thought I was only going to need 16 or 32, 
But after doing a little bit of research, I found out that video editing might require up to 64 or more if I'm doing some really intensive things. I went for an M.2 storage. This is the Crucial T500, one terabyte. Uh, there's two slots in my motherboard, so I'll probably upgrade to another one at some point. I also have SSD storage in there. I got the Samsung 870 Evo. I actually had one of these in my old computer and have zero complaints. And the fans. So the CPU fan, I went for the Assassin X120 RSE. It was not very expensive, but it has great reviews. The quality looks amazing. It has an ARGB fan that comes with it. And yeah, this is just a really good deal. I also added a bunch of extra fans there, as you probably noticed, because, you know, it's all about the RBGs these days. Um, so I went with these thermal right fans and I had no problem connecting these things. I was able to daisy chain them all together and plug them into the fan controller that came with my case. Which brings me to the case, of course. I've got an Asus Tough Gaming case. It's the GT301. And I was very impressed with the amount of space that I had to work with in here. One of the trickiest parts of the build was wire management. And I felt like there was quite a bit of room in the back panel area to be able to tuck everything in place. Um, I like the glass on it. It's slightly tinted. I like the fan controller on the back. It made it a lot easier to add the three fans. And for the power supply, I went for the Mag A750GL. So anyhow, I'll leave a bunch of links for you guys. And uh, hopefully that helps you guys out if you're thinking about building your own computer. Um, I didn't really do a how-to because I felt like since this was my first computer build ever, I shouldn't really be teaching people how to build one. But there are plenty of how-to videos on YouTube. And yeah, I think if you're interested in building a computer, you should try. It's actually not that hard. A little bit of a learning curve, but doable. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.